What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, you may have an older car. You may have a car without a lot of technology, no Bluetooth, no aux in. You know, a lot of cars pre-iPhone age are still on the road. And, you know, without upgrading the head unit, which is going to be usually a couple hundred bucks at a minimum, you can uh, buy something like this. Now, I've shown you FM transmitters before, and this one is uh, similar in some ways. Uh, this is how the box came, FYI. I ordered it from Amazon. Must have gotten a little bit uh, abused in the box. But or the, the Amazon box, but I'm assuming it's still gonna work, you know? That's what boxes are for, you know, to get beat up. But this one I picked up because I really like the sleek uh, design of it. It's a nice small package. Man, the smashing makes it a little hard to get open. It's black, so it should blend in with a lot of things, but there were a couple of cool things about this that uh, intrigued me and I thought were worth checking out to see if it was kind of head and shoulders above some of the others. So here we are. Looks like we have a kind of a user manual, quick start guide here. Let me just show you what I've got here. So I want to try this out in a car without Bluetooth, without aux in, you know, without OnStar, without anything that I can kind of leverage from a technology standpoint and, you know, be able to listen to A2DP Bluetooth streaming, you know, listen to my music, listen, to, uh, take a hands-free phone call. And that's really the one, the piece here that sets it apart. So here is the, here is the Bluetooth receiver itself. Pretty cool looking. I mean, pretty modern and sleek, glossy piano black. Obviously, it plugs into an accessory port here. And as you can see, it has two USB outputs, one amp and a 3.1 amp, clearly marked on the front. And then you have some controls once you pair it to your, let's call it my phone in this case, um, to advance or go back. You also have a little button here that looks like it adjusts for volume a little rotary knob and you can see the little phone icon on it too because I believe it presses in you can see there a nice solid click and that's because it will also work on the hands-free protocol so if you get a call it'll stop your music and it'll start broadcasting the call over the FM station that you've picked I actually don't know if this is volume or if it's for selecting the the FM station yet we'll find out but then as you can see right here there's a little hole there with a built-in microphone so right so one of the things that you t generally have to do on aftermarket stereos is kind of run the remote microphone and wire that behind the dashboard and put in a gainly microphone up on your visor or steering column or whatever this one obviously has a microphone built in which is kind of nice so the whole thing everything you need to have kind of a um a hands-free and music streaming service is built into this little tiny device here so you can plug it in and ready to rock now the question i'm sure you're asking is pete you've seen these fm transmitters they tend to work pretty well uh, so i'm sure though that's that's pretty good but does how's the phone quality how's the call quality using a microphone which will probably be you know if you've got your steering wheel up here the the remote or the receiver is usually down in the center console, you know, in different places on different cars, but usually kind of below the stereo. So instead of the microphone being up on the headliner, it's going to be down, you know, kind of by your knee. And I'm sure that's going to affect quality, but I really do like not having to run remote mics. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get this installed. We'll pair it up. We'll make sure all the functionality is there with uh, transmitting to FM stations in a, you know, in a usable way. And then we'll make some calls and listen to the call recording quality. Okay. Let's try it out. All right, guys, so I'm sitting in my GMC terrain. I've actually disconnected from Bluetooth, uh, the phone that I'll be, you know, um, using to connect to this to try it out. And so here it is, uh, you know, on the terrain and like some of these other GMs, the accessory port is way down here. So it's probably not ideal. It's probably, it's ideal for getting it out of the way, but it's probably not really ideal for, you know, access to the microphone. Okay, so it's saying 108. So I'm gonna tune my radio to 108 here and um and then also try to pair my phone to the device if i hold down the right button there it goes to bluetooth and if i look at my phone here it says hy82 i'm assuming that is the device so i'm gonna try connecting to it and it looks like i have connected to it so now it's showing that it's 108 now i can't actually get to 108 on my radio so there must be a way to adjust the, the frequency that it broadcasts on. All right, so to change a radio station, what I figured out is you actually hold down this phone button until the, the station starts blinking, and then you can start selecting your station. So I'm gonna actually tune it right here to 89.1, because I think that's uh, pretty empty 
All right, now it looks like I have it uh, on 89.1 there. I have my radio on 89.1, and now we're gonna try to play in a little Florida Georgia line. Let's see if I can get this going, and I'm gonna adjust the volume here. So what I'm noticing is I'm gonna jack up the volume on my phone all the way up, and then <laughs> you really have, it sounds like a few volume places. So if I play with the volume here, I almost want that to be all the way up. And now you'll have volume control here, which will be kind of typical. Yeah. So it totally works. And I think if we go and hit the phone button, it'll play pause. If I hit that phone button again here, you can see it'll start on my phone. So this little button start works as play pause. Now, now what we need to figure out is how's the call quality with me being in the driver's seat uh, using the little built-in uh, microphone there and the sound should come over the speaker. So let's try that. So I'm now making a call here. I'm gonna sit in the, pass, uh, the driver's seat here and when my voicemail picks up, I'm gonna leave a message uh, just kind of looking and speaking forward here and understand also that we're parked. So I don't have any wind noise and this car is generally pretty quiet, but we won't have any kind of road noise or driving noise. So we'll try it just sitting here and then I'll get on the road and leave another voicemail. What's up? This is Peter Von Panda sitting in my GMC terrain uh, in the driver's position looking straight ahead at the windshield. Um, I am talking pretty loudly, but with the uh, microphone and this Bluetooth receiver down in the center console kind of buried in that cubby, just wanted to see what the volume is like, not moving, at a standstill, so no uh, exterior noise uh, or road vibration to be in it. Now let's get on the road and leave ourselves a voicemail while doing a little driving. All right, guys, so I'm on the road. It's obviously not highway noise, and the GMC train is a pretty bearable and quiet car. You know, it's certainly not like driving a convertible or maybe a noisy sports car. But uh, while we're do driving here, I am actually going to try calling my voicemail again. And so we will, obviously, I'll have my eyes on the road. And so what we will do is we'll leave a voicemail and see what the sound quality is like while someone is driving. And let's give it buzz right now. Hey, what's up? It's Peter Von Bandai, and I am now cruising at about 40 miles an hour, uh, you know, on a clear day here. Uh, this road is not the greatest, so there should be a little bit of uh, road noise and bumping and a little harshness coming through the car. But this is me speaking uh, in a slightly elevated voice, but obviously the receiver is way down there. And so I just wanted to see what the voicemail quality and the call quality would be like uh, speaking through this Bluetooth FM transmitter. So there it is. So... Uh, if you're looking to add, you know, Bluetooth to your car, one of the things that, you know, especially an older car without a lot of technology, this might be an option for you. One of the things that you'll have to keep in mind is that, you know, there might be some sacrifices, particularly on uh, phone and hands-free telephone quality. But otherwise, I'm pretty impressed so far, especially with the HDDC Bluetooth section and the FM transmitting through the stereo. And, you know, being here in the Chicago area, the... Uh, radio frequencies are pretty chock full, but still, you know, the music quality is just really nice. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Peter Von Panda on the voicemail. Out. <laughs> 